Cancer is survival. It's not a death sentence. I had stage four cancer and I'm still here. I had cancer three times and I'm still here. My first priority was to get it fixed. There has to be some way out of this. And that was hard for me. You know, here's my little boy in a hospital bed and what are my options? I didn't have any other options. It's important that we encourage doctors to specialize, that we provide the funding for them to specialize, and that we encourage um, hospitals and cancer centers all over the country to have teams just like the one that treated me. Anyone out there who needs a little bit of push and a little bit of love, know that you are special that your journey is special and you can make a difference. You have to be your own advocate at this point. Uh, you're fighting for yourself, you're fighting for your life, you're fighting for your kids and your wife. Was I skittish about a clinical trial? At that point in time, no. I said, okay, let's do it. Researchers need participants and participants need research. And I truly feel that that's the way that cancer will be cured. Since we're all in it together, we all need to support the research that's now going on in the field of cancer, and it's making huge gains. Because the information we have about the molecular biology of these tumors, and because we have drugs that exploit those vulnerabilities, an increasing number of patients are seeking clinical trials as part of their standard of care. I plan on being here for many, many years. And I feel confident because my oncologist has told me that there are many drugs in the pipeline now. Without this cancer research, Zach would not be here. And it's no doubt in my mind. And he was not going to get any better. So we're very thankful for the research that is done. And I mean, it's hard to thank somebody, you know, for your child's life. I really do have faith in science. I'm convinced that we will find a fix for this, that there are a number of options available. I'm very much into research and development. Investing in research is, is so important. We're really on the cusp of eliminating cancer as we know it in the near future. Every dollar invested, we have over $2 that come back into the economy. And I think the figure is somewhere like $70 billion going back to the GDP because of the NIH. The moral test of government is how that government treats its people, those that are in the dawn of life, the children, those that are in the twilight of life, the elderly, and the, and the needy, and the sick, and the handicapped. Things that I'd like to see in the future would be an even stronger alignment of patients, advocates, and academicians working together, because I think the public is gonna make a big difference in how to solve this funding crisis. We have to make sure that we fund it at a very high level. I believe that in the great scheme of things, in the whole budget, this funding is not a, a large amount of money. It should be larger, I believe. On the congressional and lawmaker side, yeah, there's a crying need for update and legislation. Our elected officials need more education, and I think it's the patient's voice that's perhaps most effective. There are still many patients dying from cancer. To them, we owe them our commitment to continue to work tirelessly to find cures for their disease. And I'm confident, I'm confident that we will continue to make progress in, against cancer.